I mean, vitamin D3, Robert, is arguably the most important vitamin in the entire human biome. And the reason why I say that is um, this is the only vitamin that a human being truly synthesizes. We synthesize vitamin D3 from cholesterol and sunlight. And the truth is most of us are just not getting enough sunlight. And in the absence of adequate sunlight, we don't convert enough cholesterol into vitamin D3 to have sufficient levels throughout our body. So what happens if we have deficient levels of vitamin D3, as half the world's population does, as half of the United States population does? Well, as our levels of D3 begin to decrease, we have um, reduced capacity to transport calcium. And we transport calcium not only throughout the blood, but we transport calcium and deposit it into the bone. That's where you may help hear me talk about from time to time, I talk about vitamin K2 in conjunction with vitamin D3. Because you have vitamin D3, which is the calcium transport molecule, and then you have vitamin K2, which makes sure that the, the calcium gets deposited into the bone and not into the arterial wall. Remember, the arterial wall, if we deposit calcium into that wall, we get hardening of the arteries. And if our arteries harden, that's an increased risk for cardiovascular disease. So vitamin D3, synthesized by the human body, um, um, involved in a number of processes within the body, also acts like hormone. In fact, the majority of our cells have a receptor site for this vitamin D3 hormone. And in the absence of adequate levels, you get exacerbation of symptoms like poor sleep, um, what they call um, um, poor waking energy. So you wake less rested than you went to bed. Sometimes you wake a little stiff, a little sore. You feel like you had a workout the day before, but you haven't really had a workout the day before. And in the morning, if it's ever, um, if your muscles and joints are just a little achy, creaky, sore, you get out of bed, you have a little stiffness and achiness, maybe even some mild joint pain on your way to the bathroom for the first time. It takes a while to get the motor going. All of those are symptoms of clinically deficient vitamin D3. It's one of the easiest um, supplements to turn uh, or turn around to supplement with. We, we use a very high quality pharmaceutical grade vitamin D3. At Streamline, we put most of our patients on D3 supplements because it's one of those pharmaceutical grade supplements that just about everyone can use and they see rapid improvement in their response to exercise, healing, uh, brain fog, uh, things like their waking energy and their muscle stiffness and soreness. So vitamin D3 is critically important to our human biome. Perfect. Well, Gary Brecker, thank you so very much. And uh, we're looking forward to our, our next body science with you. Thank you so very Thanks, much. Thanks, Robert. Glad to have, glad to have you do that. Thank you. Yeah.